everybody welcome back to thoughtful thursdays it's drizzling a little bit outside and it's in the 70s today so it's really nice out still a little humid but i hope y'all are having a blessed thursday today's devotion is entitled safe passage kind of a little bit looks like what uh kansas looks like here so the verse today is 1 Corinthians 10, 13. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Remember that he will always provide a way to get out of the temptation coming at you. Did you know that in some places wildlife have their own underpasses? Where busy highways cross migration routes, the deer need safe passage. Collisions between cars and wildlife are often fatal for the animals, and they aren't much fun for the driver either. Where wildlife crossings are built, the highway is fenced for miles in each direction to funnel animals toward the crossing. They work too. Motion sensor cameras have captured images of not only deer, but also coyotes, raccoons, birds, squirrels, and bobcats using the crossings. That's a lot of animal lives protected. Like those deer, we can run into danger for us, it's sin that can leave us in a bad way. James puts it bluntly. Each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. James 1, 14 and 15. Those are pretty stark words, aren't they? and it really is that serious. <clears throat> Thankfully, that's not the whole picture. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. Psalms 103, 13 and 14. As our creator, he knows exactly how each of us is inclined to wander and how much we can endure. According to Paul in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, God is watching out for us. Where there is temptation, he provides safe passage. God is so good to us. Dear Father, thank you for looking out for me. Please help me to see, my temp to see temptation coming and show me the way out. We have these little walkways all around where I live here in Kansas and um, they go like all around the town. They go down to the city park and just all around. And then we also have like a Kanza Prairie that has a large walking path and we've seen deer out there and heard other things rattling <laughs> not sure what it is but we just pick up the pace a little bit or sometimes I even look for it but no luck and um, God's path is straight you know the verse that says um, narrow is the gate and few find it um, his path is straight. These bugs are really bad guys. <laughs> the flies and such. Um, his, so, I should have brought the fly swatter. If we stay on his path, we get to the distance the easiest way. If we take our own, we're gonna be doing some big time curving and things, but he's still with us. So I hope you guys have a blessed week and 
if you're having the cooler weather like I am, I hope you enjoy it. And you can see when we were on vacation, we put up these uh, insect nettings on the gardens and they're growing really well. And you know, we're prior army, so we got it locked up like Fort Knox. <laughs> so y'all take care. God bless. Love ya. Bye.